Hi, this is Brandon Smilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the band reverse pec deck or the band reverse fly. This simulates using a pec deck machine, but we're going to use two resistance bands. And usually you're going to want bands that are on the lighter side. Um, this is kind of a tough exercise for the upper back and the way the mechanics work. You're not going to want a really strong band. So the only thing you really need is you need preferably two posts that you can tie your bands to. A squat rack or a rig work great. And we want to want the bands about to be shoulder width for the athlete or the client. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, each band with one arm. So you're going to reach across to grab the opposite band that's across from the rack. You want to make sure there's always tension on the bands at all times. And then once you've got that tension there, you're going to keep your chest good and tall. You're going to take your arms, keep them straight, and you're going to pull similar to a band pull apart. And then right back. If you want to make it harder, then you just step further away. And if you want to mix your grips up, you could actually use the bands as, um, as handles, and you can do the same thing. Most of that's going to be personal preference on how your hands are set, but this, like I said, this basically simulates a reverse pec deck if you don't happen to have one. It's where the tension is going to get tremendously more. Um, here at the top and then back. So the mechanics there are a little bit different, but it's a good replacement if you don't have access to a pec deck machine. This also works great with athletic settings, so that's what we mainly use it for is with our sports performance athletes. Then it's another upper back prehab rehab exercise that we can put in training programs because sometimes just band pull aparts and face pulls get a little bit monotonous and boring, and so this is one other option that we can use with our athletes. I will say that, like, that this is a little bit more difficult than a regular band pull apart, so make sure that your athlete has kind of done some of those exercises and has some decent upper back strength. It is definitely uh, harder than it looks, especially if you start stepping away. And we don't want athletes to start cranking into extension. We want to make sure the ribs stay down. Everything stays in good position while they're actually pulling apart for each repetition. When we do this, we generally program these for three to five sets of 10 to 20 reps. So it's definitely on the higher end of things. And again, it's designed to help build and build up that upper back if that happens to be a weak point for that particular athlete or clientele. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.